Hey guys. Um, today I'm going to, uh, we're going to build a, uh, a Weber grill. You know, like that you cook outside with. But first, um, I got to finish, um, just emptying out the cat bowl. Uh, I got to give the cat some fresh water. bought a Weber Spirit too, and I got it home and it was damaged. Let me show you. Broken off. It's the way it's supposed to look. Broken off. There's the piece. So I love this Mocha Brown. TC called them and they said, okay, we have one more in stock. Go ahead and bring it back. But the first thing I have to do before I do that is I have to find a packing blanket I have to climb up there and get a blanket blanket Guess what? We were able to exchange it. Not only that, I got myself a little space heater for in the garage. Anyway, so now I gotta assemble this thing. Let's go. Bam! Somebody is pulling up. Who's pulling up? Huh. Huh. Well, maybe not. Anyway, this is my Weber grill. I have everything laid out so I can figure it out. Here's the part of the, part of the stand. These are the sides that it attached to. Those are the little flip out things. Uh, the grill grates. Uh, the wheels. The drip pan. The thingamajig, uh, there's a thingamabob, there's a Karen staring at the oinksy doinks. And then um, we got the directions, which we don't need. Um, and let's get started. The need for this is Phillips head, whoops, Phillips head, 716 open end. I'm also going to take this little stubby because sometimes you got to get in a little tight place. We also need a little hammer. Okay, one of the first things is to put these feet on the bottom, just line it up. You can actually push it on, you don't even really, yeah, it's on. Next, we're going to marry a couple of pieces together. All right, this piece, the captive nut goes down. Well, you, actually it goes up, because this is turned upside down. Obviously goes here, and then... This guy is here. So these go in from bag A. And I do it with my left hand. There, it spins out. Nothing broken. And then I got to do it to this side. And then move on to the next step. We're going to put these guys in on each side. It goes out this way. If you can see that. And there's three screws, so they want to make sure that SOB is screwed in tight. Now we're going to install this other cross brace. It's right here. This guy is going to go in this way. These slots right here. See the slots? That is going to go up, although this is turned upside down, so it's going that direction if you catch my drift. And we're going to put a screw in 
there, there, and there, but not on the top. Now, what we're going to do is put the wheels, starting with this axle, we're going to put the wheels on, and if you look inside package D, so what you do is you take this cotter pin, pop it in there, then you take the wheel, just pop it through like so. There's no washer, which I find surprising. This little guy, you just pop it on there. That's it. So both sides are on. Ooh, rattles a little bit. Okay, the battery died, so I missed a couple steps. And let me show you what they were. First of all, I put this cross brace on. The divot side is to, towards the, the wheels. Then you have this cross brace piece. Take note of this ledge. That goes on the bottom. Just want to make sure you're aware of that. First of all, you take the top off. Just these little pins. You pop those off and then you pop this off. This is the piece that broke on the other one. You're going to sit this down in here like so. And you want this gas cable underneath. That's how it sits on there. Can you see it? This is the igniter cable, apparently. All right, so you feed this through this opening right here. And then this guy, and be a little bit careful bending this. You don't want to go tweaking it hard. And then this little tab goes in here, and then a screw from packet A goes through the back. So I'm going to do that now. First weird snag. I don't know where I went wrong, but I had to remove these holes right here, these screws rather, because, because that's where this goes into. I'll show you. Okay, it's in now, right there on each side. Now you know. Now these go in here. They're just little cable guides, basically. Go through here and route behind this stainless cable line back here like so so you have these so here's the igniter okay so now I put the igniter on here routed the wires nice and tight put the screws in here everything's routed the way it should be the next step will be to put these sides on but you know what I want to take a ride on my motorcycle right now so I think I'm going to <laughs> It's been raining for a couple days, so yeah, I'm gonna take a ride. You gotta seize the opportunity when you can. And plus, I really wanna check out these shocks. Let's see how they ride. I'll let you know when I get back. got chilly out there. Putting these little metal brackets and then these nuts on each side. And then that's secure after you tighten it down. This bracket is marked R and that one is going to go on this side like so. Okay, so I just pop this one on via these little brackets I just put in. And then a tray, which the hell it goes. Then I put the knobs on. These guys squeeze on just like this. That's it for that. Now it's starting to look like a grill. Yes, I have a cold and I'm out of cold.
right, so that works. I am 100% done. Actually, actually, the only thing left to do is put the gas can on the side, but the grill is 100% assembled. Everything is in place. I have not tried the igniter yet, but I will fire this up in just a little bit. It is getting freezing cold over here. Uh, my hands are cold. Ay, ay, ay. That is one good looking grill. I'm gonna clean up this mess and then I'm gonna put the gas can on here and fire it up. Okay, I hooked up the, the uh, gas tank and I fired it up. You can hear it cooking away. And it fired up like no problem. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna let it heat up with this closed before I cook anything on it to get any possible chemicals or anything. This eye grill thing, put a temperature gauge in it. I have not done that. I've, I'm vegetarian, so it's typically for like steak. Um, so um, somebody could use it for that. I'm not sure what I'd use it for. Um, Okay, at least I'm out of the cold. I can take this off. Woo, look at that freaking hair. That is my Weber grill uh, instructional video. So go build yourself a grill. We're starting to become spring fever, but it's still cold out. Make a grill. Even a drummer can do it. Take care of each other. Keep rock alive.